first thing I'll do is here I create my class and all that so I just go here and say import Java dot uh, first thing I'll say util because I want to um, I want to type myself where the file will be so um, import Java IO so this is actually the one that I'll be using um, for the reader and the buffer. So first thing I'll just bring the scanner in and I call it scanner equals new scanner new scanner and in there I'll put the system dot in you know you know all that so here what we do is I just say system dot out um, dot print line and I'll say um, enter the file name right so uh, we got that so now straight away uh, just give me a minute is something wrong somewhere all right okay something I forgot to do and need I forgot to class public um, static um, void main open that and put the string in put the string in and then the arguments and that. so in that case so in this so in this case first uh, what I'll do is I'll go bring a string in and I call the string as file um, so file and I'll bring the, the scanner in so we bring the scanner in we got a scanner now so straight away we go and upload the file so we say file um, file reader and we call it fr equals to new file reader uh, reader and in there we bring the scanner in so we got that we got our scanner now so one more thing we need to do we just come here to choose it should be okay through this um, so we've got our file now here uh, we need our buffer I know you know all what buffer means actually I'm not here to explain all that to you all I'm here is just to show you how it works um, br equals to new buffer reader um, right we got our new buffer reader and now in the new buffer reader we need to bring the file that the file has found the file reader has found so now we got our file now we got our file now what we need to do we need to create some variables so first variable what we said we said we need a variable to count the lines so we count the lines uh, we need another variable that counts um, the words so we call it words uh, we need another variable that counts the characters so we call it um, we call it uh, correct something like this and we call it zero so I, I have a trick of loading the files so how do I load the file I'll bring another string and I'll say uh, I'll bring another string and I'll say string equals to uh, sorry um, string text and I just call it text and that's it so I'll bring another one and I'll say string content or or string um, letters letters so just call it string letters um, so now first thing I just want to show you right now is um, if I I'll bring the try and catch I know you know what it means I'm not here to explain so I'll just bring the catch in uh, catch in the catch I bring my IE my IOE and my exception my exception and then here um, what I'll do is I'll just bring that and here um, in here just give me a minute uh, I'll bring my system dot out in here print line and I'll say file not found that means if the file is not found that means it says file not found file not found so this will sort that out so now what we need is we need a while loop and in the while loop we just come here and we say um, if the text the string text is equal to the buffered reader the buffered reader then 
if the buffered reader that means the buffered reader is now equal to the text is not null that means it's not empty then what do i want I want you to count the lines from I want you to first of all I want you to make the buffered reader and the text to be in the same stop. So I would say I um, I would say letter I would say letters letters plus equals to text. So just to prove that this is correct, what I'll do is I can say system dot out dot print line and say text. And say text so if I run this this actually should give me the contents in the inside the text so if I run this right now we can see it tells me that I need to put something here so I will say I'll put I'll go to my users I say users um, documents um, documents programming programming um, slash files slash file one dot txt and if i run that it gives me the contents inside the file we're not interested in all that stuff so what we're still interested is to count it so we get rid of that what we need is how to count the line so we say line so what we say is line um lines plus equals to one so that means anytime it's going to count So I can say, and now that we got that, I need to bring, uh, I need to count the words. So how do we count the words? I want you to remember something called uh, um, the split method. So if you go to the, if you bring a string array, and you call it word, and you say equals to text dot split, and in the split, what we need in the split is we need a space. So this is actually going to count the line. So we bring a for loop, and we say the word, the word is uh, sorry. We bring, we bring, we say string, uh, string wall equals to word, right? So what is this going to do? It's going to count the word. So I will say words plus plus. So we've counted the lines. We've counted the words now. So now we need to count the characters. So here, there's two ways of counting the characters. If you don't, if you don't care about the spaces or whatever it is, just want to count everything that is in the content. It's just like this: text dot length. This is all how to count the So if we system dot out everything here, let me system out everything so I would say system dot out dot print line and I would say um, first thing I would say is words no first thing I would say line and I say lines and I say lines the concatenation mark lines and that and I say another one System dot out dot print line, and I say now we need words, so I say word and uh, space concatenation and words. So we got that, and I need another one called system dot out dot print line, and we call it um, we call it length. We call it length, um, and then we type here. Actually, what we can do in this is we can create a new string here, and you we can say int equals to int length, right? And is that so we can say length equals to that? So that means we just bring length here in the concatenation mark. And we say length. So we've got that now. One minute. Uh, just need to get this out of here and bring it in here. All right. So we've. Oh, we need to initialize it. All right, let me initialize it. Just make it zero. 
just make it zero so it can understand what you're doing so if we run this i promise you it's gonna give you the exact amounts that are inside so if i run this right now it's giving me that and now i just have to enter my path the past name so users lam documents um very slow typer document file um document um, programming slash file slash file one dot txt oh i made a mistake i did not type exam the exact name let's do it again user slash user slash lamb slash document document slash programming slash files slash file one dot txt it gives me there's four lines there's 12 words and there's, there's um 20 length so so in this i can show you another trick which you can get rid of the spaces and how do you do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna say you're going to say you're gonna introduce you're gonna put all the um, all the alphabets in that means you're gonna bring an int here and call it alpha something like that and you say 26 characters then you bring an array and call it uppercase and lowercase letter then in the uppercase and lower, i'm not doing this explaining i'm just i'm not doing this for right now i might do this in the next tutorial but uh, you can do you can make it two arrays and call one upper and lower case so in the upper and lower case so you make an if statement if uppercase is equal to equals to a and equals to equals to z then add one into the uppercase if if lowercase is equal to equals to a and low and lowercase equals to equals to z then add one into it but if up if lowercase is if sorry if if text in the contents inside the text is not equal to a and it's not equal um, is less than or is less than or equal to a and greater than equal greater than sorry if it is less than or it, if it is less than a and greater than z then that is not and that is not um that is n that is not a letter so what you do is you create another in and call it non alphabets so it's gonna so whenever it is less than or you are greater than z 